Twenty two. Sure. So my New Year's, like, I guess it started a little early. First, I had family up from Virginia. Always awesome to see them. We only get to see them once or t- maybe twice a year. And, okay. Uh, what family members? Uh, just uh, some of my family members on my dad's side, my nice. aunt and uncle, nice. and uh, they're. Uh, it just. It's. I don't know. We have a couple cousins the same age that live down there, so we don't. We're close to them, but like not close to them. You know. So it's the fun close where you're like, yeah, you're my cousin. Exactly, and like so, I had that going on, and then uh, two nights at Dark Star Orchestra at uh, the Palace Theater. Which was really cool. I actually left like halfway through That's the first sweet. show just because they were up, and I was like, you know, I, I'm gonna take this time to mm-hmm. see them. Yeah, yeah. And like, a, whereas like, I don't know, like, it's a where, if you want to talk about like a New Year's resolution, some of my New Year's resolutions, I guess, like, of course, I want this to be something like bigger than mm-hmm. itself of course like and i want to i'm willing to you know put my blood sweat and tears into it but definitely like staying true to my family mm-hmm. and uh just i don't know rekindling some relationships with some friends and uh just i don't know it's i've learned that you in the past know. two years know. like like yeah. in the past like you, at least four months like how I, much you have to give up right to, yeah. to get where you are exactly yeah. and like and like I, it's like if I don't like do something mm-hmm. certain, like maybe like skipping out on dinner at my grandmother's one night. Like, yeah, I'm like, wow, I fucking so missed out. Like, <laughs> I feel like you're touching on a really good thing, you know. And that that's kind of like the most important thing about my career is that I've been able to like keep it maintainable enough to be like, no, I I got to go do this with my family tonight. You know what I mean? It's not like I have to be, you know. I can, it's not like I have to be in front of 30,000 people, you know what I mean? I can still make right, a good living. Right. And, like, sometimes I, you know, I can I can just say, like, no, tonight I'm not playing. I got I to gotta go do something for my kids, you know, mm. go watch my son play soccer or whatever it is. And you just, you got to make those sacrifices because really, what what is there in life, right? Family. Completely. You know, you know? At the end of the day, at for the end sure. Of the day, you know. That's what you need. Yeah. Yeah, so just, like, that was really cool. Like, That's special awesome. spending time with them. That was great. Um... So after the two nights of Dark Star, like it was a last minute decision, it wasn't going down to fish. So uh, my buddy and I, uh, Tom, who's also part of Mirth Films, uh, Kyle drew me, uh, awesome friend. Uh, we went to uh, yeah, go see Twiddle in Boston for two nights. And uh, first night was at Paradise Rock Club. Second night was at the House of Blues in Boston. Uh, both were great nights. It was nice to get away. They give us press passes both nights. Night one was cool because the, so the set list was fan selected. So the fans were able to go on Facebook, select the set like songs, voted for the songs they wanted to play, that they wanted Twiddle to play, and they played them all. That's that awesome. was like in like a you know a, whatever a full set list would be. Yeah. And uh, honestly, that was such a cool show. They ended the show with Gangsta's Paradise That's oh because of the Paradise Rock Club, That's so which cool. is so Makes cool. Sense. That's awesome. And uh, and then night two was awesome. First band, uh, the band that opened up at the House of Blues was uh, Too Many Zoos. They're a street uh, jazz band, mm. and uh, but they have like I was looking them up like prior to the show. They had like nine million hits on like their video. So like there must have been like viral in some way. Yeah. But it was a cool performance. It was a saxophonist, trumpet, and uh, I don't know what you call the drum. That's just like on your chest, and you're just like. Bass drum, probably. Yeah. Bass drum. Um, <coughs> like a marching band style. Marching band yeah. drum, yeah. yeah. Bass yeah. Drum. And, nice. and that was pretty cool. And what was great about Twiddle's uh, just show at New Year's Eve was, of course, New Year's Eve. Yeah. Cool way to bring in the show. Right. But uh, our man, uh, Dave DiCrescente, shout out to Dave. Uh, he hooked us up with all access passes instead of just press passes. So we were able to shoot from the back. We were able to walk around in the back. They fed us. Nice. Like, first time I ever <clears> had salmon. Backstage at House of Blues of Boston uh, for Twiddle New Year's. Oh, man. <laughs> What'd you think? Eh. Yeah. Overrated. Overrated. I, I also thought it would probably be... We, I had it broiled. Like, I thought it'd be better fried or something like that. Or maybe, mm. like, fried, maybe grilled. Fried. Grilled, maybe grilled. I don't know. Broiled, I don't know. I can go for uh, Maybe I'm not a fish guy. Like, I like, I like fish. haddock. But I like, like haddock. So I know you like fish. I like fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>